Hi everyone, I'm James, this is Kyle from Camp Tent Hire. Hi. And we're going to show you how to put up the Safari Hexibo 6-8 man tent. Your tent will be delivered in two bags. Inside these bags you'll find sets of poles, the tent fly sheet, the main tent and a bag of pegs. Unpack the main tent and unroll it ground sheet down. Locate the door and rotate the tent until you're happy with the position of the door. It's easier to do this positioning before you go any further. Next, find the poles that are tied together. You should have two sets of these, which will form the frame when plugged together. Lay these on top of the canvas tent. When everything is plugged together, the frame will make an H shape. Make sure that the doorway of the tent lies in the narrow part of this H. When the poles are positioned, you'll need to plug them together. Make sure that these are plugged into each other properly, because if they're only half plugged in, the joint may break, spring and hurt someone. When assembling the frame, try to avoid standing directly on the tent with shoes. If there are any stones or sharp objects underneath, these could damage the canvas. Once the frame is assembled, each person stands opposite the other and raises the frame to form the skeleton dome, plugging the frame feet into the holes provided. We're showing this assembly with two people, but it is of course easier with more. If some poles fall out, don't worry, you can plug them back together while you're putting up the frame. Once you've checked all the poles are properly plugged together, unzip the tent doorway and stand on the ground sheet inside the door. This will allow you to raise the canvas with one hand. Use your other hand to clip the canvas to the frame, starting at the top to take the weight. Clipping the canvas is easy, but one should start from the top down. Lastly, add the fly sheet. This keeps the tent cooler and adds extra waterproofing. If you're short like me, use one of the extra poles to help the fly sheet over the top of the main tent. Make sure that the square flap will be over the doorway. You will find several legs on the fly sheet. Clip them wherever is convenient on the frame and tighten the straps. Do not over tighten them. Now you're ready to add the final poles to keep the veranda area in front of the tent up. Use guy lines on each pole to keep them upright. Finally, with some tweaking and adjusting, you have a tent that's going to keep you and your friends or family warm and dry. Any questions? Please leave them in the comments below or visit our website noted in the description.